the most expensive American painting ever made. Do you know what the life of a creator of an expensive painting looks like, and what made that painting so expensive? Well, welcome to Art and Beyond. In this video, we are going to see the most expensive painting ever. The striking painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat that broke the record for the most expensive painting American piece ever sold at auction sent shockwaves across the art community. According to Nate Freeman of Art News, the untitled 1982 artwork sold for an astounding $110.5 million following a heated bidding battle that had the audience at Sotheby's in New York shouting aloud in disbelief. The frowning skull is depicted in the work untitled in frantic strokes of red, blue, and black. It's typical for Basquiat's body of artwork, which consists of gritty, vivacious pieces that are meticulously packed with imagery and symbolism. Untitled announced Basquiat's entrance into the exclusive realm of art. He was a relatively obscure graffiti artist living in New York in 1982 when he made the piece. But as an art historian Jerry Saltz told the NPR's Lulu Garcia Navarro, Basquiat was set to become possibly the only artist of color active in any element of the art world at the time. The artist had a bright but brief career. At the age of 27, Basquiat overdosed on drugs and passed away in 1988. Untitled is described by Sotheby's as a virtually incomparable masterwork, yet its estimated selling price of $60 million was less than half of the final price. Freeman claims that just two bidders were competing for the artwork. The picture was purchased by a Japanese businessman, Yasuku Mezawa, 41, after a 10-minute auction. Maizawa uploaded an Instagram picture of himself next to the piece of art shortly after the competitive bidding process was over. He wrote, and he was pleased to say, that he had just won that masterpiece. When he first saw the artwork, he was overwhelmed by the happiness and gratitude for his love of art. He wanted to tell as many people as possible as he could about the experience. In 1978, when Jean-Michel Basquiat visited New York, the city was bankrupt, had high crime rates, and had low rent. Everyone had a creative talent, and everyone would succeed. People believed Basquiat to be a ghetto-born, ignorant graffiti artist with an almost magical talent. It was an intentional myth that he created himself, and it was also a result of people's preconceived notions of what a grungy, dreadlocked black artist might be. He wasn't, however, the noble savage that the media preferred to describe him as. Instead, he was a highly aspirational young man from the middle class who was knowledgeable about art history, particularly as it related to existence and lack of blackness in Western art. Born in Brooklyn to a stable middle class family to a Haitian father and Puerto Rican mother, he received a private education and was a talented youngster who could read and write by the time he was four. He also spoke three languages with ease. He had a close relationship with his mother, who supported his creative side. When he was a little child, she took him to see Guernica at the Museum of Modern Art and registered him as a junior member of the Brooklyn Museum of Art. Unfortunately, his mother entered a mental health facility when he was 13, and he would permanently leave the home at 17. Are you enjoying the video so far? Well, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, because if you do, maybe we'll take you to a museum one time. With a promise like that, you can't not press that button. So what are you waiting for? Back onto the subject, the most accomplished black artist in history, Jean-Michel Basquiat, passed away from a heroin overdose in the 1988 at the age of just 27 due to his inability to handle the expectations that fame brought him. His rapid ascent and frequently conscientious career had only lasted seven years. As committed to his work and conscious of his reputation as Michelangelo or Picasso, Basquiat was an artist. Jean-Michel Basquiat was determined, ambitious, and put a lot of effort into his work. When Madonna resided with him, she reportedly woke up around 4am to find him still working on his paintings. In his brief career, he would produce more than 2,000 works of art because he was so driven to create. However, in order to accomplish his objective, he would never make concessions or soften the message. His direct and savage paintings are inspired by the issues that African Americans in the US experience they still prove true now, just as they did years ago. However, despite his significance, there are only few of his works in public collections. Since it was purchased for $19,000 in 1984, Untitled has been housed in the same private collection. When it was put up for auction in 2017, it fetched the highest price ever paid for a piece of art, 
$110 million by an American artist, not only a black one, including Andy Warhol. His life and his art were intricately connected. When he was just seven years old and playing on the street, Basquiat was struck by a car and severely injured, necessitating the removal of his spleen. His mother purchased him the textbook Grey's Anatomy, which he memorized as he recovered. Anatomy would eventually take on a key role in the artist's work. His depiction of human skulls are where this fixation is most striking and memorable. These are the ancient slave skulls that have been plundered by the Western art for so long, together with the Haitian voodoo dolls as the prehistoric African masks. The beginning of neo-expressionist movement, a returning to painting, and the reappearance of the human figure would all occur through Basquiat's career. And this unfiltered and potent image would herald the emergence of the young, essentially unknown artist as one of the movement's key protagonists. But with that all said, that is all for today, so what do you guys think is interesting about these pieces of artwork? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow and we'll keep coming to you with new interesting content. But that is all for today, so we will see you in the next video.